When you're talking about invisible matter, or the fact that space and time is interwoven into one, you have to acknowledge the absurd. Our universe has been around for a really long time. Humans just got here, and we have no right to take ourselves so seriously. My name is Claire Lamont, and I'm a graduate student in astrophysics. I study cosmology, the search for the answers to some of the biggest questions that people have. What is out there? Where did it come from? What's going to happen to us? What's the deal with dark energy? I always knew that I wanted to be an astronomer. I wasn't sure though if I had the skills necessary, but I decided to see how far I could get. I was surprised to find that once I got past the first levels of physics, you start to get into why we actually know these equations, where they come from. I found a new avenue for creativity and realized that looking at problems in different ways is super valuable. And since then, creativity has served me well in science. I work with a lot of different mediums. I really like planetariums. I like art. I like baking. I like to make baked goods that represent my research. If you make a plot of the size of the universe as a function of time, it started out very small, it started to get bigger, and then the expansion is now starting to speed up. We're, we're not quite sure why, and we call this why dark energy. I first got the idea to annotate scientific papers because it's written in incredibly technical language. It's almost like a completely separate language. And so I'm trying to translate the papers. I annotated one of the most famous papers in my field, one of the two that won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of dark energy. After that, senior scientists approached me with a little bit of shock that I would scribble over what is almost a holy text. But he also acknowledged that it was a useful way for many more people to engage with the actual heart of the science itself. As a kid, if I had a better understanding of the value of creativity and research, I probably would have believed a lot more in my ability to become an astronomer. 